Hello YouTube, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from webhub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the brand new course of how to create a fully dynamic e-commerce website in PHP with PDO. So first of all we need to know what is PDO. PDO is a PHP data object which is used to avoid SQL injection and give the extra security for your website. And the main benefit of PDO is you can connect your database with uh, your website with any database like MS Access, Oracle or PHP My, uh, MySQL or etc. So let's take a quick overview of our website which will, we, will be created in this course. So first of all here is the design of our website which is available in you need, uh, you need to watch our responsive e-commerce website designing with, uh, without bootstrap course by clicking uh, my playlist and you can find the project courses here. So let's take some quick overview of our course. First of all, we will create a sign up form for our new users which can sign up in our website. And we can also secure this sign up form and give the security on these uh, input fields like if someone like uh, someone click on sign up without entering any details so it will give the error please fill out this field and we can also create a login form for, uh, for the user when user sign up then uh, sign up with the email then the e uh, password will send to the his email address and then he give the email uh, email address here and the password which we will send on this uh, on his email so he can uh, log in with a uh, dead gmail uh, uh, dead password and if the user forgot his password then he will click here and uh, enter his email address and uh, click on submit when he submit then the password will be sent to his email address okay then after we will create a advanced search engine like if someone enter a a or s or anything then the filter is coming and user can also search by advanced searching then we will create a card but in card we will create a two different cards one for the login user card and one for the guest account user card so if guest account user add some products uh, add some products in his car then he will sign up then automatically the selected cards item will be sent to the user login card it is a process like flipkart websites or amazon websites okay then after we will create a dynamic navigation menu for the electron uh, categories like electronic crockeries it is all are come in the uh, come into the database and display here okay then after we will create a category wise product list like uh, electronics and history products then after crockery and then history products these three products are last inserted by a uh, admin okay guys then we will create a great deal option a great deal offers like displaying here or you can also uh, tell this uh, offer uh, offer zones when user click it here then the, all the products are displayed here by user uh, sorry admin gives the discounts in these products okay go back to your home page and also we can dynamic this slider we can also dynamic uh, it by if admin want to change these images then he can also change these images okay then after here are three buttons like uh, quick view add to cart and wishlist and here we can also click it here by product details okay let's add some items to our uh, cart so click it click on here okay there you go look at here observe here here are one card item will be added okay let's try to 
add some more items okay then click it refresh it okay look at here sorry look at here there are two card items are available but if we uh, if i again click on this then it will give the error like this product is already added in your cart we provide this uh, this type of messages error messages in our project now let's try to add our uh, product in a wish list so click on it okay it's also give the error like please login or sign up which means uh this facility available only when the user is login in our system so observe here here are two cart items now we need to login in our user account so i have one account and i have one password so i log in okay look at this here are the our list items are changed which will here are one link like login it it will be changed and give the user uh, user email address and also it will uh, it will it uh, it is display hidden for our sign up link you can find here the sign up link link is not display here and you can also observe here like track orders option are available now so user can easily navigate to his account like my account my order my shopping carts and etc and he can also log out in our system okay so let's check the card uh, first of all my account just go to here are the user can change his account name passwords uh sorry account name address cities pin codes and his mobile number okay then after we will go to my order and check the user orders which will be ordered in past okay here are the uh, option uh, here are the order list are available which is invoice number product image product name product date product quantity and product status he can also cancel his order like i if i will on uh, click on cancel then here are the one pro, uh, prompt up, up uh, appear here and say are you sure okay when i sure then it will uh, give the message like order cancel successfully if i want click on ok then ok the status will be changed look at here and also uh, in process to cancel ok now we need to go our my shopping cart and look at here we will add two products in our cart before the login now it's uh, in the card uh, user card so if i will change the quantity then i will say two quantity look at the price here observe here four four nine and subtotal is four four nine but when i click on save then it will be changed to look at here eight nine nine and also change the net total okay then we will create a my wish list option here are one uh, product available in my list uh, my wish list okay then after we will change the password we can also change the password here of our user so let's try to log out okay when i log out just look at here observe here here are two items available but now it is a zero because the dead two card items are inside a login user card uh, card okay now let's change uh, let's check the quick overview of our product page so when i click it here or also i click here so it will gives the card page uh, sorry product page and uh, it will display the name the, these all are coming in the database it is fully dynamic like this all four images are coming in the database and also these are all coming in the database now if admin add some pro discount in our product then first of all he uh, the product list is say the market price of our product is 999 but admin add discount in 55 percent so the total saving of our product is this and the selling price is it will be this and also we will create a uh, one more interesting thing which will be the 
this product is viewed by 20 people okay i want to go back observe here here are 21 okay so when i go to home page and again click it now look at here he say this product is viewed by 21 people so we can also add this facility in our website now there, uh, here is the two buttons are available user can again add uh, the product directly from clicking here or you can uh, user can buy this product by clicking here if user buy uh, click on buy button then it say please log in or sign up because we don't buy anything to our guest users and observe here one thing one thing is most interesting thing we also include a language translator for convert our uh, website in any language okay so let's take a uh, sorry i need to refresh it now i will log in and sorry uh, before we log in i show you some interesting things like look at here in stock available if the some pro if the product is not available which means a quantity will be the zero and then uh, then the it's say out of stock it is directly from the database okay so we will create this in stock available or not available then after we will create a face uh, facebook share like chain uh, gmail share twitter share whatsapp share or text messaging share these products are now shared in any platform of this display here okay then after we will check our plot uh, sorry we will check our product uh, product which is available on our location or not if i enter these uh, numbers and check then it will say shipping are not available in your location sorry so it means the shipping is not available in his location when i enter and check then it say shipping is available please proceed okay now here it is the similar products are available which is uh, uh, this product are uh, this product categories which means this product category is electronic and all the products are uh, related this product are shown here you can also click it here and say uh, see the product details by here okay now i need i i am logging in my system give the password one two three four five six seven sorry though so it will say username or password is incorrect this means we can enter a perfect I, uh, password which will be entered in sign up okay so login okay here it is my uh, id is appear here so now i need i am clicking on buy now button so it will give the another page and say your login id is this and your deliver address is this if you want to update your deliver address then you can click it here and you can change the uh, your address if you want to change the quantity like i i want to purchase 10 item of this product so i will save and look at here the main price of this product is this and now we need 20 quantity so it will be changed okay now when i click on cash on delivery we not include a paypal so we say cash on delivery if i click it here okay then it will uh, it say we receive your order and thanks for shopping now here are two links appear here it will uh, it is say go to your account and continue shopping but now we need to check our pro order is proceed or not so we will give uh, go to my account and look at here look at here today's date is here 5 9 2006 and look at here year month and 
did okay we ordered 10 quantity so it is say 10, uh, 10 quantity and the order is in process when the uh, admin confirm his order then the uh, status is changed and say complete your order is complete okay it is fully dynamic uh, uh, fully dynamically created okay now i i show you one more thing just i uh, observe here here are only one uh, card item because we buy one card item uh, card item so it will uh, it will remove automatically okay one more thing click on here and if i click on buy now button and i am here but i not buy this product and i come back in your uh, in our home page so look at here two items are available in our cart because we don't buy it but we don't uh, we click on buy button so it will come in our cart like flipkart website you can visit the flipkart website and check this facility okay so i will go to home page and now two items are in our cart so i click on cart button now i uh, uh, sorry i want to remove this so simply keep click on remove so it will uh, give the message are you sure if i click ok then it will say item deleted successfully ok look at here observe here here are only one item are available ok look at this now i need to add some more products say two three okay this is already added in your cart so we can't add this i'll added this the redirection problem which will be friction in our project page redirection so now i want to click on cart item so it's a three quantity uh, three products are available in your cart so i change the quantity like two quantity of maharaja microwave bowl set okay so and we also change the quantity and change to five wooden soapies okay save it now i go to checkout button okay if i not sign in and see this card and click on checkout then it will give the error and say please log in or sign up but i will uh, i am sign up in our uh, i am logging in our uh, is website uh, this website so it's bypass me on next page so check out okay look at this the three items are coming now and product quantity in all are set is now now i click on cash on delivery okay then it say we receive your order thanks for shopping now go to cart and check that three products are coming okay look at this the three products are coming now perfectly okay and check out his qu uh, quantity look at here one two and five but data are not coming completely so we will fix in our project and in process okay the and one more thing when user order is uh, product then the email which automatically send on his email id so this is the quick overview of our website at user side now in next tutorial we will see a admin side where these all things are completely performed in admin side okay so guys stay connected with me and if you guys like my video then share like and comment or one more thing please guys do not forget to subscribe because it is very benefit for you for latest update of my channel so stay connected with me and see you in next tutorial thanks for watching guys goodbye